Hello and welcome to my video, Lesson 2.4, Permutations When Some Objects Are Identical. So we have a, uh, a formula to keep in mind that is different from our formula for the um, for, for 2.3 when, when all objects are different, are distinct. Um, let's take a look at how this changes. So find the different, oh, I said combinations again, should be permutations. Um, uh, or, or the different ways that they can be, uh, combined. Okay. Um, but anyways, let's, let's look here. We have four different letters and we can combine them in any order. So what happens is three, four, two, one, or four factorial, which is six times four is 24. Okay, over here, not quite as straightforward, right? If we choose this one, you know, for our first one, we have, you know, we have three choices. Okay, if we choose this one, um, or, or now we only have two choices. If we choose this one, now we only have one choice, one choice. So this is not nearly as straightforward because it depends on what you choose first. So what we need to do, um, and I think it's just simplest if we uh, try the formula and see if we can uh, explain this. So ACDC, there are four factorial choices, okay? n equals four in this case, but two of them are the same. So we put a two factorial on the bottom. Okay, so a equals two in this case. So what we can do is do a two factorial, or four factorial over two factorial, so that gives us 12. Okay. Um, in class, we went through this in very great detail to kind of prove why this works. Uh, but basically, just use the formula. In the end, that's that's what it comes down to. So use that formula right now. How many ways can you order the letters in the word in the name Drager in my name? My last name. Um, well, go ahead and try it. Press pause, try it out, and see if you get the same answer I do. All right, so let's try this out. So n factorial, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six letters in the name Drager, so six factorial. And then how many are repeated? Well, the R's are repeated, and there's two of those. And the E's are repeated, and there are two of those. So this is our equation here. And uh, I'm going to plug that into my calculator. So 6 factorial over uh, two, 2 factorial times 2 factorial, so 120. Oh, sorry, 180. I said one. Yeah, 180. I said 120. I meant 180. All right. Okay, so this is a, uh, a very common way of using this in um, a word with with duplicated letters. Uh, but we also have these kind of two different situations. I should have zoomed out for that one. That's okay. How many ways can Jimmy get from point A to point B uh, if he's moving on the lines and down to the right only? So basically he can only go uh, to the right or down at any given moment. So this would be really painful to try to make all of the different possible combinations of pathways, right? This would take a long time to do. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I'm not even going to keep going. So hopefully, it's quite clear that it would be it would be very very difficult. But basically, um, how many times can uh, Jimmy choose to go down can't ever choose to go up so he has to choose to go down four times so I'm gonna just put 4d there's four times 
when he has to go down. And there are also one, two, three, four, five times when he has to go to the right. Okay, so at some point he has to choose that five times, at some point he has to choose that four times. So I'm going to do this into a word version like this so you guys can see what that looks like. There are five R's and four D's and they can go in any order so figure it out. Well, that means there are a total of nine choices or spots to choose or times to choose. So it's nine factorial, right, over and then the two different uh, repeated times. So there are five R's, so five, uh, five factorial, and there are four D's, so four factorial. So if we put both of those together, uh, or this whole thing together, so we have nine factorial over five factorial times, or basically four uh, factorial. Oh yeah, I should have a times in there. Okay, so 126. Okay, so lots of choices. So obviously we don't want to count all the way up into that point. Okay, now there are more complicated situations. Now that we know how to do it in the basic situation, what about these more complicated situations? Well, what we have to do is we have to recognize that uh, if they're going from point A to point B, there's actually kind of two main paths. Basically, they have to get through this point, or they have to get through um, this point. Right? So the first path is anywhere in these, this red square, or anywhere in the bottom. red square. So to start that off we have 3 down and 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. Okay, so 3 down, 4 to the right. So that situation would have 7 factorial over uh, 4 factorial times 3 factorial. So that's that first part. Um, the second one uh, at the bottom here is this whole thing. So one, one, two, three, four down, and one, two, three, four, five to the right. So this is nine uh, factorial over five factorial times 4 factorial, which we already got in the question above, so I'll just write it in. Okay, another situation is, what if we went, and maybe I have to make this a little bit thicker, so what if we went down all the way and took this entire path? So now we have 4 down and 4 to the right. So this is... Um, 8 factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Okay, and then that means we'd have to start at the bottom corner down here. So we would only have 3 and 5. So it would be 8 again. And 5 factorial and 3 factorial. Okay, so we have to pl plug all of these into our calculator uh, so that we can see what we get. So 7 factorial over 4 factorial times 3 factorial. So the first one is 35, then we have 126, then we have... Um, tutorial. 
think that's right. Yeah, so this one we have 70. And then in blue we have... <clears throat> that one has to be 5. That one has to be 3. And 56. Okay, and now what we need to do is just add all of those four together. So 56 plus 35 plus... 70 plus 126, so 287 options with this partially pinched um, map or grid. All right, I hope that this video helps you understand permutations when some objects are identical. Good luck.